Wonderful scenes will become very familiar as we relive what was a very special day in Irish sporting history time and time again. And I'm delighted to say I'm now joined by our newest Olympic champion, Kelly Harrington. Kelly, first of all, on behalf of the nation, I have to say congratulations. You gave us a magnificent moment. It was so special. What a morning we had watching you box for gold at the Olympic Games. A magnificent achievement and we were all spellbound by your performance. And that's the first thing I want to talk to you about because it's the noble art of boxing and your journey that has taken you to an Olympic final and your abilities in the ring. It was an absolutely magnificent contest. What was your view of how you fought this morning? Um, I mean, we had gone over tactics yesterday morning when we were doing a pad session. Uh, myself, Sor, John and Dima had had gone through tactics over and over again yesterday and then I'd spoken with my club coach as well and he has the same tactics as, as the high performance coaches and together they just come up with a fantastic plan and then this morning or today like before I went out and fought we, we carried it out on pads again and just went out and, and done it and just took it round by round uh, as, as everybody knows I was down in the first round and didn't lose me uh, focus or my control of the fight I just went back out then in the second round and got the second round and the rest is history. It certainly is. History is exactly what it is. And uh, your fight has been acclaimed by our analysts here in studio. They thought particularly the second round, Kelly, was magnificent. But it must give you great personal satisfaction to outbox an opponent of that calibre in the Olympic final. Like, she's 2019 world champion. I'm 2018 world champion. We're both meeting in an Olympic final. You couldn't ask for better than that, you know. So it was fantastic, and I really got up for the occasion. I think I rise to each challenge, and I love the challenge. And it's it was just an amazing feeling. I, I'm loving this journey. I love the journey. I love going over on the bus uh, in the semi-finals when the four four opponents who are going to face each other are all sitting on the one bus and all feeling the exact same way and thinking the exact same things and. Then the next day, it's only two of you on the same bus. And, you know, it's just, it's just some journey. And the respect I have for, for those girls is just, it, it's, it's big. It sure is. Tell me how difficult was it to keep your focus during the contest, particularly when you realised you were slightly down after that first round? It actually wasn't difficult at all because uh, I've, I've come back from losing first rounds loads of times uh, I come back from the World Championships in 2018 after losing the first round. Um, and I mean, for me, the plan going in there was to stick to what I can do and not, what, not let someone else dictate the fight. And that's exactly what we've done. I, was, I stayed calm and composed and controlled throughout. And, and that's, what, that's, that's what got me through. So it worked, you know. I didn't want to rush in because she's a really good counter puncher. She's quite strong. And I had to stay composed and I had to... I had to stay with it, really, you know. So I stayed, I stayed focused for, for nine minutes, which is a, a big, big task for me. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did. Do you think it was uh, one of your most accomplished performances ever? Uh, I'll be very honest with you. Like, I've got a gold medal, so it must be one of my greatest accomplishments ever or performances ever, but uh, it won't... I don't really know. I haven't seen the fight, so... When I, when, when I get home and I'm sitting down with, with my family, I'll, I'll re-look at the fight, I'll re-watch re the fight or replay the fight and uh, then I'll be able to, to judge it myself whether I was good, bad or ugly or whatever. So. Oh, I can assure you, and we've been talking to the experts all morning, you were very, very good, so you were. And I have to tell you what it was like watching your contest. Uh, it was absolutely nerve-wracking. That was what it was like for us in studio, and I can only imagine what it was like for your friends and family who were here. And I presume uh, you've had messages, and I presume you've also been talking to them uh, since you won the gold. Um, I never take my phone with me uh, to competition, so my phone's still back in the apartment, so uh, I, I'd say it's probably exploded now at this stage. Um, but I, I, I'm just seeing this now, wow, oh my, wow, wow, oh. There were many people uh, in tears with emotion, tears of joy. It's wonderful to see at that hour of the morning, we were all still wiping the sleep from our eyes and you literally woke the nation and you put everybody in fantastic mood.
That's a lovely gift to have, Kelly. Do you know what? Um, I didn't really think that many people would get up and watch it. I thought they would probably re-watch it, you know, because it is quite early in the morning. But it's just, some people say the weight of a nation could, could bring you down, like could weigh you down, but it really lifted me up and to have them there. And, and you know, when I was going into the final, I knew whether I took a gold or a silver, I knew I had made my country proud, I'd made me proud, my family proud, and just the way I've carried myself throughout this, this tournament, throughout the Olympics, yeah. it's just, I, I, I'm proud of that, you know, so. And kind of speechless for words as well. I know it's, it's very difficult to take the whole occasion in, but I sensed at the end of the contest when the result was announced that almost inside there was a massive safety valve released almost of emotion, considering all you've invested to get to an Olympic final. And that realisation, did it hit you when they announced the result and that you'd finally won that Olympic medal? It's like, it's like a balloon. So it's like you're a balloon and someone is letting the air out bit by bit and you're just deflating and deflating and the energy, you know, it's just going and going. I just felt when, when at the end and they, they announced it in the red corner, like I just felt like I was totally deflated and I was like, what a relief, like, and just, you know, it's, it's not even the feeling of like, yeah, I've won the Olympics. It's just like, what a relief, you know, and just, I've worked so, so hard for this and my family really know how, how hard I've worked for it. The coaches know how hard I've worked for it. And just to, to step on top of that podium today with our national anthem and our flag raising up above us was just, it's just, I, I can't uh, describe what it feels like. It's just amazing. I'm sure you can't because even from those of us looking on and uh, willing you on to victory, I mean, it was a very emotional experience and we're just onlookers and uh, supporters, as it were. But for you, being the person who orchestrated everything, it, it has to be overwhelming. And I have to say, I'm sure you probably missed the fact that your family and friends weren't in Tokyo there to enjoy the occasion. But uh, in another sense, Kelly, wasn't it wonderful for your family to be surrounded by friends and relatives from Portland Row and everywhere else on your special occasion and they all watched it together? I genuinely believe that my ma, my da and my brothers have a better social life than I have. <laughs> like everybody's calling over to them all the time. It's just great. Like it's it's brilliant. I, I'm I'm so happy and honoured to be able to lift a nation and give everyone something to smile about and cheer about. Like that means that probably means more to me than that does and that's being honest with you to be able to lift like one person lifting a small nation, it's just, it's just amazing. It, like, this is the stuff that dreams are made of, like. And that's what that gold medal will represent for you for the rest of your life. You'll always be Kelly Harrington, but now you're Kelly Harrington, Olympic champion, and the country is proud of you. We had a great time. And Kelly, you deserve a rest now. Enjoy your trip home, and we look forward to seeing you when you get back to Dublin. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody.